I'm gonna get out and say hi, okay? I wanna scan him. Ow! Hey! Get off Brawny, you! I don't know if they're doing any damage or anything. Alright. On three, two, one, zap! Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Subnautica. We're back at home base here, just sitting in the living room. Looking out the bay window at our two little cuttlefish pets swimming around and frolicking and trolling the sand sharks. I can't catch them. Sharks know it, they know it, and they're having a whole lot of fun teasing them about it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, what, where were we? We were at the disease research facility in the last episode, right? And, yeah, I gotta show you something, but I gotta get away from the window. I don't want the kids to see this because it's kind of nasty. First, let me play something for you. We got a voice log here. I did a self scan, and this is what I was told. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Mm hmm. Infected. But that's not news. We had this infection for a while, right? All right, well, let me show you one more thing. I'm gonna kick that door open, and let me just remove my gloves. And, uh, there it is. If you're squeamish, you might not want to look. Look at my hands. They're cracked. The skin's all cracked. There's green pustules and pustules and cysts and pussy things coming out, and I don't even know. Oh, gosh. All right, see, this is what happens when you don't wash your hands, kids. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hi, Abby. Uh, yeah, so let's put those gloves back on. We don't want to look at those hands anymore. Okay, so, well, that's what I've been up to. What have you been doing? <laughs> Let's take a look at that report. Bacterial infection report. We have been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium. Outstanding! It is currently multiplying in your bloodstream. Estimated incubation time, two weeks. Your immediate priority should be abatement and eradication of the infection. No duh. Recommended step, salvage further alien research data on a possible vaccine and investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the systems of the infection. A whole bunch of fancy words for, let me show you, for this right here, the specimen research data that we pulled out of the disease research facility, and it basically says that one of the leviathans, the sea emperor, shows some potential for carrot immunity, basically a vaccine, right? They caught one, captured it in a containment facility, and they did this down in the volcanic region, which is like 1.4 kilometers down. So that's where we need to go. That's where we need to go next. So we can't go down 1.4 kilometers because it's too deep. So I've got some upgrades ready to go. This is a Cyclops depth module Mark II. Let's whip it up. Squirt it, or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go bring that over to, uh, to Willy. So, yeah, let's go do that. Um, you know what? There's one more thing I wanted to do before we go. I want to get another egg hatching. I know here I am about to die of a bacterial infection, and I'm more concerned with them. <laughs> making, little, making more pets. I want to put this egg in the our little alien tank over here. This is the crab snake that we found in one of these giant jelly mushrooms, in fact. So let's drop that guy down. Bloop. Oh, he's already wiggling. He likes it. He likes it here. But he's trying to get out. He's kicking. Boy, can't wait to see him. We're going to put him outside with our cuttlefish if we can. And he can protect them from those nasty little sand sharks. Whatever the heck they are. Hi, guys. How's it going? He's still teasing that sand shark. You guys are silly. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey, Willie. Systems online. Glad to hear it. And we're going to pimp you out, my friend. Pimp you out, son. But first... Let's put his power cells back in. I did it recharge them all. Anywho, here we go. Cyclops shield generator creates a temporary barrier around the sub, rendering it invulnerable for a brief time. That sounds handy. Squirt it on the table. All right, that's one. And we want this one here. Cyclops docking bay repair module thingamabob, which repairs vehicles docked within the Cyclops. Super convenient. That's two. And we want the Cyclops fire suppression system, which puts out fires, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out. And a Cyclops decoy tube upgrade, which increases the capacity of the Cyclops. This is a decoy loading tube. Awesome. 
Okay, anyway, Will, you ready? This might this might tickle too, just a little bit. Depth module upgrade, now up to 1,300 meters. Unfortunately, that's not going to be quite enough to go all the way down to this uh, volcano region or whatever, but we'll have to make do. Cyclops shield generator. Cyclops docking bay repair module thingamabob. Cyclops decoy tube upgrade. And finally, Cyclops fire suppression system. Woo-wee! Dude, look at you all pimped out and tricked out. To the nines, baby. Yeah. All right, that's it. So now, uh, hey, Brawny. How far can Brawny go down? Yeah, Brawny's depth module is only a Mark One. Oh, it's the same, 1,300 meters. Oh, boy. Looks like we're going to have to go down to 1,300 and then go on foot from there. <laughs> this could be dangerous. So I'm going to bring a Sea Glide and a Stasis Rifle and a Repulsion Cannon. We want all the weapons to defend ourselves, especially if there's a... Uh, some kind of a leviathan down there. This is gonna get nasty. Give me a coffee, will you, little feller? All right. Uh, I don't think I'm quite ready to go. I'm gonna run back to the house, and the house, and uh, get a little more organized. Make sure we have everything we need for this trip. I don't even know where the heck we're going, so we're gonna have to figure out where the lava region is. Thanks, little buddy. And uh, and then we'll be on our way. So I'm gonna have to do a little research about that. All right, kids, it's nighttime now. Come on, street lights are on, go home. Time to come home, get in the house. All right, I think we're ready to roll out. I'm gonna grab an extra beacon and torpedoes. Those aren't the same as decoys, are they? I don't think so. I think we have to mix decoys specifically for uh, for Willy. We'll go do that. And now it's time to go. So, okay, hey kids, we gotta go now, okay? We'll see you later, be good for the babysitter. Freddy, all right, Freddy's in charge, don't you forget. So now we have four decoys, sweet. Okay, I think we're ready to roll. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Willie, start up those engines. Engine up. And away we go to the, we're gonna go to the north, right? Let's turn it around this way. Say bye to the kids. Make sure we don't run them down. And oh, there's all our decoy countermeasures. Look at them all in there. Four out of five. That's pretty slick. And we also have. Is this our um, perimeter defense? It doesn't say, but that is a new icon there on the HUD. My guess is that is the perimeter defense. And I'm not going to use it now because it probably uses a bunch of um, power. And we don't want to use up too much power now. Hey guys, I think we found a new wreck. I don't recognize this one. It's kind of on the side of a hill, all cuckeyed. And I probably would remember that one. Let's just go down and check it out and see if we can find something interesting in here that we haven't already found. Ow, always happens. Take Bronny down. Hey Bronny. And he should keep us relatively safe. And hey, we're still pretty far from the DRF, as you can see there. I'm still looking for the entrance, and I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of lost. I admit it. I think I went a little too far east. Oh, there's a door. That's a sealed door. Oh, that's a good sign. Sealed door means maybe we have not been here, unless I didn't see this door last time. Yeah, this could be a good sign. It could mean that we have not been here, or maybe I just never saw this door before and bothered to open it up. I'm gonna go in and find out. Maybe there's some new blueprints. Pretty sure I have most of them. Oh, there's a data thingamabob right here. What's that thing? Not that. Data terminal. Safety protocol CSP21 before handling classified cargo. Uh huh. Yeah, I've already heard that before. Thanks anyway. Uh, yeah, we got a scannable here. That's just an arm. We already have that, right? Yes, prawn suit fragment, obviously. There's a long tunnel down that way. Some kind of air vent. Oh, here we go. Data boxes. We have not been here. Water. That's not so great. Oh, what's this? A quilted double bed. Look how cozy that thing looks. Woo! Yeah, so we have not been here. And a plant shelf. Nice, we can put some plants on a shelf, apparently. <laughs> All right, so far so good. Here's a data terminal. Data box. Cyclops thermal reactor module. Ooh, that's a good one. That's what I was talking about. We'll be able to use that to power up the Cyclops when we're near some kind of thermal energy, right? Where is this darn thing? 
converts environmental heat energy into electrical power for use by the Cyclops. It needs kyanite. It's one thing we don't have is the kyanite, so we're going to have to find some of that. And I'm pretty sure where we're headed today... What is that? Warper. Pretty sure where we're headed to this inactive volcano region, there will be, uh, there will be kyanite down there. Let's just grab some oxygen before we head down in that air vent. Because those can go on and on for a really long way. See what I'm talking about? Wow, this one goes on and on forever. I really don't like the way this ship is cockeyed. It's throwing off my, uh, my sense of balance and direction and orientation and all that jazz. I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get vertigo. That door does not open. Oh, data boxes. Lots of data boxes here. Great! Chunk of cheese or something. More nutrient blocks. Well, there's plenty of food down here. That'll help on our long, long journey away. We've got a prawn suit lying on his back. <laughs> hey, dude. What's up? And we'll grab that arm while we're here. Might as well. And more chow. This must have been the food storage on the Aurora, right? Seems to make sense. Door doesn't open. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. This is this is throwing off my whole equilibrium sense, and it's driving me nuts. Let's get back to Brawny and get back up to the ship. Where is Brawny? Brawny, there you be. All right, take us back to Willie, your big bro. Oh, he does not like when you do that. You know that. You do know that, don't you? See, I told you. <laughs> he clams up. Oh, see, I told you. Oh, jeez, who's he's getting rough with you. He's getting rough with Brody, his little bro. All systems online. Willie, come on, don't be that way. You know Brawny, he's just a pest. Let's drink that and stuff the rest of this chow in the refrigerator. And let us continue on our quest. Although, I'm going to dump out some of this material here. All right. Willie, start up those engines. <clears throat> Powering up. That's a good lad. All right, up we go. There's the DRF door. Yeah, I think we were off to the east too far. We need to go. We need to go west. You see here. Here's thermal um, energy right here. We could, if we had that module installed, we'd be able to power up right here, which would be nice. Well, I got lots of uh, thermal geysers here, whatever the heck they're called. But I'm not seeing a way in over here. Unless I can just go down one of those. But Willie's not going to fit one of those holes. It's way too big for that. So let's find the entrance to the Lost River. It's got to be around here somewhere. Man, there's a ton of sharks. Urine and 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 I already have tons of urine and and I. Yeah, gold and urine and and I already have all of this stuff. We don't need it. Well, let's have a look around here and maybe... Oh, silver! Definitely need silver. We're so low on the silver. Something coming at us. Oh, you dummy! You really took a bite of brawny? Get drilled, fool! You better run. Big dummy. Hey, come. You know, get over here. You think you're just gonna get away? Oh, I got you, don't I? Yeah, you can't get away. You're hooked. And now look at you. You're a mess. And you like them apples. Can a guy just drill in peace? Where are you going? Nowhere. Nowhere fast. Oh, another one. Oh, oh gosh. It's a whole flock. He's pulling us toward his friends though, isn't he? He's looking for backup. All right, you know what? This is no fair. Way too many of them. I <laughs> just latched out of that guy. Let's get out of here. Let's get back to Willie. Brody's down to 65% right now. Come on, don't mess around. Pull us up. Willie. Yeah, well, thanks. And now, with that new repair module, are they actually attacking Willie? Those stinking little sharks. We're going to run them down. Yeah, so that module is now repairing Brawny automatically in there. Check it out. Charging and repairing. That's what big brothers are for. All right, I think, uh, oh gosh, I need to, um, let me empty out the inventory here. Found it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's right here. In fact, this is the exact same place we were 
In the last episode, we parked Willy right outside this cave entrance, which leads to the Lost River. Haha, -ha, that was easy. Um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna go out and drop a beacon right here. Pretty sure I have one in my inventory. Yes, I do. Yep, right here. Cover me, Willy. There's a warper here, and there's one of them crabby squids. So, yep, okay, this is fine. We don't have to get any closer. Drop it. And let's write all over it. Lost River Entrance. Okay. Sounds good to me. Now let's get back to Willy and let's get inside. So we have to bring Willy inside this time. Yes, sir. We're going in, Willy. Oh, yeah. We're going to need that engine to be powered up there, big guy. All right, we're all powered up. Here we go. Easy does it. Looks like it might be a tight squeeze, but I think we can do it. I know other people have brought their Cyclopses down here into the Lost River, so hopefully our big one-eye willy can make it too. And there's that crabby squid. I don't think we're gonna be able to avoid him. Uh, we can go silent running, but I think it's beyond that point now. <laughs> Warper down there. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. This is the entrance, right? Yes, pretty certain. Now, where's that dang beacon? Yeah, this is not going to be easy. But I think we can manage. <laughs> oh man, I hope we don't get stuck. I didn't bring a jack. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Can we go over that branch? Oh boy, there's something large on the radar. I think that might be the ghost leviathan over that away. Because I don't think those little bony fellers actually show up on the radar, so it must be something big. Alright, let's see if we can squeeze through here. It's gonna be tight. I don't know if we can make it. Oh, hi, there he is, right in front of us. Oh, and he's attacking. Okay, put the shields up. This is a bad place to be attacked. Now, this is going to drain a lot of our energy, but we got to squeeze through. We did it. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Down to 78. Let's get rid of that. Let's go silent running and drop a decoy. Yes, drop a decoy. There we go. It's out. Now, go. Can we go down here? I think we're stuck. <laughs> this is wrong. Oh, yeah, we're stuck. Oh, no, we can go over. Keep going. Oh, yes, now we're free. Down, down, down. Yeah, I'll, hold on, Willie. I'll, I'll take care of that in a second. Let's dive. Dive, dive. Can we dive? I think we got away. I think the decoy worked. Oh, that's not going to help hitting things either. But yes, yes, we made it. We're inside the, uh, this is the junction or something. I don't know all the names of these places. Oh, watch out! That dude is all spinning out of control. But now we got some room to maneuver. And there might be another ghosty guy down here. We're in silent running right now. Ahead slow. Yes, ahead slow, Willie. Hold on. Nice and quiet. All right, let's get out of the silent running. I don't want to run out of power down here. Now, what we need to do is... Hold on a sec. I, I need to get out of the seat... Oh, gosh, we got a hole. All right, I better go fix that. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, I heard about that damage. I didn't think it was that serious, but wow. Yeah, that's a good 15% damage to all Willy here. I'm going to go out on foot. And we have a repair tool. Let's go find this uh, hull breach. Oh, poor Willy. I'm sorry we brought you down here. You really don't belong. I hear something large. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, there's the hole. Fix that right up. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There we go. It's just that one. Oh, another one over here. Two little breaches. Nothing to be too concerned about. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Pretty sure there is actually a ghost leviathan down here as well. Don't see him right now, though. That's what we're looking for. That tree. Yes, you guys didn't get to see that because I found it on the way out after the last episode. But there's like a 
uh, a tree over there. It's like the only one in existence on this planet. And we need to pass by that is what we need to do. So we got to turn Willy around. And that will lead to the inactive lava zone as far as I know. All right, let's get to the fridge and have a nice bottle of water. And how about a coffee? Thank you, little guy. And here we go. All right, Willie. Ahead slow. Yeah, slow. Ahead slow. Turn it around. There it is. Okay. Excuse me. Get out of the way. Oh, I probably shouldn't be blowing the horn in here, should I? No. Because there's big, nasty critters down here. And we don't want to attract attention. <laughs> Don't know what else is down here. I see deep shrooms. Come on, man, get out of the way. I'm coming through. Watch out, Big Willy. All right, right out the back, Jack. Nice and slow and steady, Willy. We don't want to attract any unwanted attention. Ooh, ceiling's getting low here. Let's drop down a little. What's this? Our depth is at 894 right now. We we can still go down quite a bit more. Oh, here's a big drop-off. Oh, yeah. And I think we have to go that way. <laughs> it seems like a dead end. All right, let's get clear of this ledge. Put it in reverse, Willy. Beep, beep, beep. Look out, buddy. Man, this is like driving a bus or a big rig or something. Not that I ever have before, but <laughs> my guess is this is how it is. Backing in and out of very tight places. Yeah, we're still going down. How deep are we now? A thousand meters, just about. We're gonna have to abandon the ship pretty soon. And keep your eyes open for Kyanite. If we can find Kyanite. Oh, what is that little red dude? There's a little red dude. There's a bunch of them. Uh, I was about to say, if we can find this Kyanite stuff, we can. Um, we can make the depth modules and new ones. Oh, something sounds weird. I don't like the sound of all that. I think I just saw some new creatures down here. Oh, yeah, look at that guy. He's like a red wormy or something. Should we go say hi? I want to go scan him. There's another one. All right, let's get over here. And oh, he's cool. There's some new music here. Kind of scary. Oh. What's that? Oh, gosh. All right, I think we went a little too low. I think we might have hit the ground. All right, yeah, I'm going to get out here and go have a peek. Engine Kill those engines. Yeah. All right, Brawny, you're up. Let's grab a drink. Uh oh I think they're knocking outside on the doors. Oh, I didn't even have my coffee yet. There we go. And I think I'm just going to bring the tablet just in case we actually do find this um this alien containment area and we have to unlock it otherwise i think we're ready to go oh there i go again all right brawny you're up pal brawny can only go down 1300 so oh well slow it down slow it down slow it down <laughs> don't be so eager to die <laughs> where's willie i can't see it from here willie 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 i'm scared willie oh Okay, never mind. We're good. Oh, no. How hot is it here? 51 degrees Celsius. I think I can get out here without getting burned up. What is this stuff? Copper? I need kyanite. Oh, man. A warper over there. And who are you? All right. There's some new stuff here. I'm, I'm going to get out and see if I can handle the heat. Yes. Oh, it's just shale. had a diamond in it, though. Oh, look at that guy. He's cool. All right, let's go say hi. And we have just regular old deep shrooms. Nothing too exciting there. But those guys look different. All right, I got my repulsion cannon here in case something tries to get too close. Let's go get close with Brawny and see if he's friendly or not. Oh, he's adorable. Look at him. He looks like a, like a caterpillar. Doesn't he? He's got a little face of a caterpillar. He seems nice. Hi, pal. Hi, what's your name? I'm gonna get out and say hi, okay? I wanna scan him. Oh! Hey! Get off Brody, you! <laughs> He's stuck on Brody's windshield! <laughs> Lava larva. That doesn't seem good. Excuse me! Get, uh, get. Uh oh, what was that? Uh, okay. Maybe they're not so friendly here after all. 
All right, hey, buddy. No free rides. Get off. I can't drill him off. I can't hook him off. How do I get that guy off there? He doesn't seem to be doing any damage, but uh, I can't really see with you there. I think this might be a safety hazard. You're going to get me arrested. Can't drill him. How do I get that guy off? I mean, sooner or later, he's probably going to get bored, right? Yeah, what? Yeah? Okay, well, I hate to do this to you, buddy, but you gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> Grab him. Oh! Holy cow! I blasted him with the repulsion cannon. I think I killed him. Did I explode him? Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, they're grabbing onto the willy! Holy smokes! They're all attaching to Willy. Hey, get off my Willy. Wow. That just blows them away. I wonder if they do damage when they attach. Um, that's a possibility, isn't it? Oh, look at them all, the late legions. Hey, get off my Willy. All right, we got we got to get back into Willy and find out what's going on here. I don't know if he's taking damage or not. Look at him all, through, all over the place. We need to park Willy in a different location. Get off the... Look at this guy. Get off, would you? Let me just check the uh, damage report. Holy cow, look at all these little leeches. I wonder if we give him a blast of our perimeter defense, if that will send him flying. And then we should probably park Willy somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know if they're doing any damage or anything. All right. On three, two, one, zap. Oh, that'll give them, yeah. There they go, that works. Now let's get out of here, Willie. Get out of here. Yeah, let's park up here where it's a little bit safer and come up with a plan for the next episode. All right, Willie, you can kill the engines here. I think you're safe with those little leechers. All right, I'm gonna grab a coffee and contemplate what just happened, because I have no idea. <laughs> but that's gotta be the lava zone, and we'll go back down there and check it out in the next episode. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, oh, there's my coffee. Thanks, little buddy. Oh, yeah. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.